Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Tai Sing Kai. Today, I will be going to present my proposed building which is a river revival and innovative center in Kampong Dato Kerama. Our center site which is site trees was located at Jalan Dato Kerama and which had been separated by the Green River and Arbe Highway and this site tree also is a transition point of between the Jalan Damai and then the Jalan Dato Kerama. The interesting part of our site was there's a big football field in front of our site facing the Jalan Damai Road and the LRT station and the UTC Kerama just sit opposite from our site in front of Jalan Dato Kerama. Yeah, and the site is in the, in the middle of Jalan Damai and Jalan Dato Kerama so we can find out that the Jalan Damai mostly was a high-rise building with modernist design while Kampong Dato Kerama was a low-rise with Malay Kampong housing design. And through the site visit, several issues can be found on the site, such as the difference in the urban development between the Jalan Damai and then the Kampong Dato Kerama. It's created a strong contrast with the residents living in economy level. So the building technology also will be much driven. As you can see, in the Jalan Damai, the most of the housing was created with the concrete and the steel walks design structure. And then the Dato Kerama, mainly it was the timber, like the Rukma Pumpong Panjang, or the Malay Vinicola housing. So you can see each channel has their own culture and identity. Not only that, the lack of environmental management also caused the Green River pollution getting serious day by day. So for my design nation is to bring bread awareness of the river climate through the interesting learning platform that consists of smart and innovative features, classroom. In the end, the student can come up with a final outcome or solution that can give the new lease of life for the Green River and even the contributions. Well, for the second intention, is creating a strong intersection part of the community to reconnecting the community without the boundary as well as the learning platform for the different race and culture. While the next is the, the project tend to discover more youth and kids as they are the most important resource for future development. So giving them a proper and interesting learning platform not only can drive their better living but also can helping them in local business someday in the future. While lastly, with the integration of modern and traditional architecture of building stuff to let the user get experience in exploring the new creative form of design or enhance their new identity of itself. Since the majority of the housing in Dhamma is a concrete and the modernist style, and the Tato Grama is a Malavinagra housing with the timber as a main material design, so I tend to introduce a new integration and the combining of the traditional and modernist architecture style to move forward the architecture evolution in Kamodato Grama and focusing some several design characters like the vegetation, arch overhangs, the effect on land barrier volume. For my design development, with the building volume was creating on the side with an exit to get cross to create a connection and then the public walkway on the ground in between the Jalan Tamil and Jalan Dato Grama. And the building is being lifted up inspired by the traditional Malay housing concept and three modular creating according to the program and activity. Next, the Sastra of Modular, we're creating a bridge to link to connectivity. Then, the maximizing the view towards the full field at the station as well as the Kang River. Lastly, incorporating the landscape to enhance the indoor and outdoor ventilation. There are several positives that I apply into my proposed building. At first, is a make up with the sustainable building material, such as the concrete and then the timber for thermal efficiency. And then, the nature lighting and ventilation also provided to energy saving purpose and get natural light penetrate through the lubus facade opening and then the open plan. And the courtyard also provided which surrounded with the greeneries to improve the overall indoor and outdoor air quality. Lastly, with the rainwater harvesting to able to store the rainwater for gate gardening purpose. Moving to the spatial design in the floor plan. Firstly, the ground floor plan was opened up for the social connectivity and mostly for the public and community event hall. While well, moving for the first floor, it's a semi public zone when there's a classroom and FH to hold the activities for the student. And then the second floor is all the classroom which builder with brown color one is facing the Jaran Damai view. The reason is to avoid the noise pollution for the Akne Highway at the back. And then the exhibition and learning base was also located at the back. 
So you can see the third floor was still remaining with the same concept. And then all the submarine classroom were located at the front. Well, moving to the fourth floor, it's all about the motor and services room, which on top uh, together with the green gardens. In conclusion, River Revival and Innovation Center is a mixed-use institutional building which combines in between the river rehabilitation and then the innovative resources that serve for the community. With a new loop of integration between modern and traditional architectural style to bring forward the evolution to the Kampong Dato Karama. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your listening.